Now on our third case, meron naman tayong given two points at kailangan daw natin hanapin yung equation ng isang line. So pagka case number three, yung gagawin natin or isosolve natin, meron tayong three steps na gagawin para maisulat natin yung equation ng line using y equals mx plus b or the slope intercept form. Now for our first example, we have to write the equation of a line passing through points 3, 9, and 2, 4. So for the first step, we need to find the slope. And to find the slope, we will use the formula of finding the slope, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So by labeling our points, yung ating unang point will be 3, 9. So sila yung magiging x sub 1 and y sub 1 natin. At yung second point natin, which is 2 and 4, sila yung magiging x sub 2 and y sub 2 natin. And by direct substitution, we'll have m equal to 4 minus 9 all over 2 minus 3. And by simplifying your fraction, 4 minus 9 is negative 5, and 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 1, giving us m is equal to 5. Now, sa pagsulat ng equation ng line using the slope-intercept form, we need the slope and the y-intercept. Now, since meron na tayong slope which is 5, kailangan na lang nating hanapin yung y-intercept. And to do that, we will need our formula, which is y equal to mx plus b. And to use the formula for step number 2, kakailanganin natin yung slope at saka isang point. Since isang point lang naman yung kailangan natin, pwede tayo yung mamili sa dalawang points na ito. It's either 3, 9 or 2, 4 yung gagamitin natin, pero magkakaroon pa rin tayo ng parehas na sagot. So kung ginamit natin si 3, 9, which is x sub 1 and y sub 1, by replacing the value of x and y doon sa y equals mx plus b, at yung m, which is nahanap natin sa step 1, which is 5, by direct substitution, nahanap natin yung y-intercept or yung b value dito sa ating slope-intercept form. So 9 equal to 5 times 3 plus b will give us 9 equal to 15. 15 plus b, so b is equal to negative 6. So ngayon, meron na tayong slope which is 5, meron na rin tayong y-intercept which is negative 6. We are now ready to write the equation of a line of the form y equals mx plus b. So we have m of 5 and b of negative 6 by direct substitution, y is equal to 5x minus 6. At ito ngayon yung ating equation ng line na hinahanap given point 3, 9, and 2, 4. At yan yung tinatawag natin na case number 3. Now, let's have the second example. Now, sa so second example, we need to write the equation of a line given points 9 and 2 and 10 and 6. So, to recall the steps na ginamit natin, una nating step is to find the slope of the given line using the formula m equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Tapos gagamitin natin yung slope intercept form to find the y intercept. At sa so step number 3 is isusulat na natin yung equation ng line kasi nahanap na natin si m at saka si letter b. So let's have that work in this example. So now we have points 9, 2, 10, and 6. Ang unang step natin is to find the slope. And to find the slope, ililabel natin kung ano yung x sub 1 and y sub 1, x sub 2 and y sub 2. So to find the slope of the line, we need to use the formula which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And by direct substitution, pwede natin replace si x, um, y sub 2 ng 6, y sub 1 ng 2, x sub 2 ng 10, and x sub 1 ng 9. And by simplifying the fraction, we'll have 4 all over 1, which gives us slope is equal to 4. So, yan yung unang step. Hahanapin natin yung slope ng line. Yung second step naman natin is to find the y-intercept. And to find the y-intercept, we will use the slope intercept form. All we need to do is to replace y, x, at saka yung m. By using any of the points, you can use 9, 2, or 10, and 6. It doesn't really matter kasi parehas lang yung magiging sagot ninyo. So y is equal to 2, m is equal to 4, and x is equal to 9 using yung point A or yung una nating point. And by simplifying 
the equation, mahanap natin si B and B is equal to negative 34 in this example. So, meron tayong slope of 4, meron tayong y-intercept ng negative 34. Now, we are ready to write the equation of a line using the slope-intercept form. So, ngayon, direct substitution na lang. So, yung y and x, hindi na natin siya papalitan. Ang papalitan lang natin is si M at saka si B. At pag pinalitan natin si M at saka si B, nung given slope and y-intercept, yung equation of the line natin will be y equal to 4x minus 34. At yan yung pagkuha noong equation ng line given two points.